Hey there nerds, got another retro video game haul to show you. Got a few more pickups this week. Uh, some really good ones in this in this little lot. So the first one I'm going to show you is a Nintendo Entertainment System game. And it is the original Super Mario Brothers. So I managed to win this one on eBay uh, in the box. The box was really bad. I wasn't really very happy with how it was packaged. It was just wrapped in a carry bag. Uh, and the box was crushed in at the top. But I managed to sort it out. Put it in one of my uh, plastic protective cases, uh, and it's yeah, it's not not too bad condition. For, won it for a fiver, so I can't really grumble. It's really hard to find these things in the uh, in the uh, boxes as it is. So yeah, it's the original Super Mario Bros. game, and I played it but never owned it. So um, Super Mario Bros. 3 was one I really wanted to own. I, I managed to get that, so I saw this one and thought I'll get this as well. Okay, next up's a Super Nintendo game. Uh, and it's in the box as well, it's the first Super Nintendo game I've managed to get in the box at a reasonable price and it is F-Zero again this is a game I've never owned because I never owned any of the Nintendo consoles other than the Game Boy um, and a GameCube uh, really cool game, I remember playing this when I was a kid in our local McDonald's they had a, a Super Nintendo set up back in the day and I remember going with my mum's McDonald's and uh, this was loaded up on there and me and my brother would play it. It was really cool. It was like a futuristic type racing game. Uh, it's really cool. I had this on the game. I had the GameCube version of F Zero and loved that. So I really want to get this old Super Nintendo version and uh, yeah, managed to get it. Let's box up. Yeah. Awesome, awesome find. So F Zero. Okay, next up I've got a game I picked up at a boot sale today for £2. Uh, it's a Japanese Super Famicom game, it's just a cartridge, but it's a really random Japanese wrestling game called Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling. Uh, I know nothing about this game other than it's uh, Japanese Pro Wrestling, and it's very random. So yeah, we'll be checking that one out and seeing what it's like. Okay, next up is my first... Uh, game Boy game I've picked up since I've got my new Retron console. Uh, it's a Game Boy Advance game and it is a uh, Pokemon Fire Red version. So it's just a cartridge. Got this one again for £2 from the same uh, seller in, on the uh, boot sale. Fire Red version. So as far as I'm aware, Fire Red is the, is the remake of the original Pokemon Red that came out on the original Game Boy. Um, so yeah, really loved Pokemon when it first came out, enjoyed it, so uh, yeah, it was worth picking up for £2, so we'll give that a go. Okay, so saved the best till last in this haul, uh, two games that pretty much uh, were my favourite games growing up as a kid in the early 90s, uh, when I had my Sega Mega Drive, and um, one of which pretty much defined my love of video games, uh, it was the game that really got me avidly hooked on playing video games and that is Super Street Fighter 2. So this is for me the definitive version of Street Fighter 2. Uh, it's probably slightly better on the Super Nintendo but like I said I never had the Super Nintendo and they're just a lot more expensive to pick up now. But I picked up this version of Super Street Fighter 2 in the case, it's in really good condition. And it comes with the manual. It's fine. becoming increasingly difficult to find games with manuals uh, on the old consoles, but it's all there, it's in pretty decent condition. So of course back in the day you had the original version of Street Fighter 2 came out on the Super Nintendo which only had the eight standard characters. Then on the Super Nintendo, you had uh, the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. On the Mega Drive, they released Super Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, which are very similar games. Uh, and you got the four boss characters you could use. Then they brought out Super Street Fighter 2 on both consoles, uh, which then gave you the four additional characters which you see in the silhouettes there on the front. Absolutely loved it playing it as a kid, so uh, yeah, Super Street Fighter 2. Okay, last up is a game I've been trying to hunt down since I got my Retron 5. It was the game that made me buy a Sega Mega Drive in the first place. I absolutely had to beg my parents 
to get one when I was a kid for my birthday. And uh, I got one. I, I mean, the Mega Drive I got back then was a second hand one anyway, because, you know, weren't allowed to buy a new, brand new one. And the game is Splatterhouse 2. So I had an old LCD game of Splatterhouse, which I used to play religiously as a kid. One of the little, before like Game Boys, and that were really out properly. They released little one game LCD games that you could buy. And I used to play that. And uh, I think I really liked the look of this game because I, at the time, was massively into watching horror movies. Me and my brother, like, we shouldn't have been watching. And this dude obviously has, like, on the original Splatterhouse, it's more like a hockey mask look. The mask in this one's like a weird skull type mask. But uh, yeah, it's a really quite disturbing game, quite weird and violent, for the, especially for its time. Uh, it's a side scrolling uh, sort of beat em up game. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's really basic, it's a really basic game, uh, but I actually loved it as a kid and been playing it uh, the last couple of days and um, yeah, really enjoyed playing it, love it. So yeah, it's Splathouse 2. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. If you have, uh, please give it a like. Leave some comments about the games that I've picked up uh, today and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, have you played any of these games when you, were, when you were younger? If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I've got loads more retro video game content as well as other nerdy stuff like my Funko Pop unboxings, subscription boxes. Uh, been doing lots of food reviews recently, so check out my previous videos. And if you enjoy, please subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.